This country's dependence on foreign oil and fossil fuels has affected our economy, national security, and environment. We have discovered a new power source, hydrogen. Hydrogen can be reformed into usable electric power. A hydrogen fuel cell combines hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity, heat, and water. Fuel cells are a promising technology for use as a source of heat and electricity for buildings and as an electrical power source for electric vehicles, which would replace gasoline in cars. Because hydrogen doesn't exist on Earth as a gas, it must be gathered and separated from other elements. Hydrogen atoms can be separated from water, biomass, or natural gas molecules. The two most common methods for producing hydrogen are steam reforming and electrolysis. Electrolysis is splitting apart hydrogen and oxygen apart from water by using electricity. Steam reforming is a process where a reformer is used and reacts with steam at a high temperature with the fossil fuel. The steam methane reformer is widely used in the industry to make hydrogen. Because hydrogen is such a light gas, it is difficult to store a large amount in a small space that is convenient for storage. A popular option for storage is to use compressed and pressurized hydrogen tanks or liquid hydrogen tanks. Also, hydrogen is totally renewable as it is the most abundant gas in the universe and can be renewed without the sun shining or wind blowing like solar or wind energy have to rely on. Hydrogen powered fuel. Cells emit no pollution. Substances the only. Emission is water. Therefore, there are no waste byproducts from hydrogen. hydrogen. However, hydrogen is the most expensive alternative energy source because it is difficult to distribute and store. But if hydrogen is generated on the site where it is used, the price drops significantly because there is no need for distribution. And as hydrogen use increases, the cost will become increasingly affordable. Also because it emits not pollution, hydrogen fuel cells have no effect on the environment. Hydrogen has many positive advantages. Some positive advantages include the fact that when hydrogen is combined with oxygen in a fuel cell, energy in the form of electricity is produced. This electricity can be used to power vehicles and rockets as a heat source for many other uses. Another advantage is that hydrogen can be produced locally, unlike gasoline, and can be also produced from numerous sources, the most obvious being water. The use of hydrogen also creates a sustainable production system, unlike gasoline's shaky economy. While gas prices rise and fall, hydrogen is a sustainable system that is also non-polluting. Also, engines using hydrogen will last much longer than fossil fuels, and a liquid hydrogen spill would leave no pollution or toxic residue as a gas leak would. While there are many positive aspects, there are also a few negative drawbacks as well. The most obvious is the fact that hydrogen is more expensive than the other energy sources. Also, steam reforming is currently the least expensive method of producing hydrogen and accounts for about 95% of the hydrogen produced in the United States. This method is used in industry to separate hydrogen atoms from carbon atoms and methane. But the steam reforming process results in greenhouse gas emissions that are linked with global warming. Electrolysis is a process that splits hydrogen from water. It results in no emissions, but it is currently an expensive process. However, new technologies are currently being developed. Fuel cells powered by hydrogen have the capacity to hold over two or three times the capacity of energy that gasoline can hold. However, storing enough hydrogen fuel cells to power a vehicle for 300 miles would require a tank larger than a trunk of an average car. Because of this, hydrogen is being kept from widespread use, but scientists are looking for advanced technology. Hydrogen energy is currently available only as an industrial scientific chemical product, not as a block fuel such as fossil fuels. Studies are undertaking the possibility of mass distribution, but it's believed to be more resourceful if hydrogen fuel cells are made at the point where it's needed and not shipped around because it's very hard to distribute. Governments and energy companies are looking into the possibility of expansion of hydrogen fuel cells because of the many pos positive aspects, but it would be a long time before hydrogen is easily accessible. Scientists are finding a way to obtain hydrogen. And it will be ready in the near future for use in our economy. Hydrogen!